first, Marvel's first family into the MCU, the Fantastic Four. started filming this yet. It starts filming Tuesday in the UK. Pedro is there and sent a picture with all of them. You saw that online. But our director, our director was willing to fly all through the night to be here with you, ladies and gentlemen, our director, Matt Shackman. I'm still awake. I'm still standing. Welcome, Matt. Hey Matt, the Fantastic Four have some of the most iconic powers in Marvel history, from Reed's stretchy limbs to Johnny's fire abilities. How do you want to bring those powers to life on screen? Uh, I mean, I, I love the Fantastic Four, I love their power set, and it's one of the things we've worked the hardest on, because we want to be true to the comics, but we also want to be true to life. We want to root it in physics and anatomy and all those things that can make it feel incredibly real. So we've done tons of tests and concept art and storyboarding and VFX tests and research. We've talked to scientists, we've talked to animal experts, we've talked to everybody. We've gone out into the desert to find the best rock to make the thing from, right? <laughs> um, we've done everything we can to make it amazing. Right on. And you journeyed through the decades with WandaVision, and we know that Fantastic Four... WandaVision has directed every episode. We know that Fantastic Four is set in a version of 1960s New York. Were there any 60s details you wanted to make sure to include? I mean, the same approach to the powers. We want to we want to do our research. We want to be authentic. We want to bring it to life in a very real way. But at the same time, we also are not doing just the 60s, right? We're doing a retro future 60s. So a lot of it was about finding inspiration from the futurists of that time, especially Sid Mead, and using that as a as sort of inspiration to build a whole new world that is part the New York that you know from the 60s and something you've never seen before. But more than just the visual aesthetics. Uh, the 60s to me is all about optimism. It's about looking to the stars and about dreaming about traveling into space. It's about how with the right heart and the right mind you can do anything, which is what the Fantastic Four is all about. And so it's more about capturing the spirit and the tone, which is not a bad segue because I put something together for you guys. Uh, we haven't started shooting yet, but we put together a little bit of pre-shoot stuff, some animatics, we've, we've, we've kind of cobbled together something to give you a sense of what this movie will be about. Um, and so, do you guys want to see it? Yeah. Let's do it. 